52 years ago, on the 16th of December, Pakistan lost half of its country and Pakistan was brought to its knees while Bangladesh was liberated. We take a look at the Indian military's golden chapter, which changed the face of how South Asia is seen. Here's the story. A red letter day in the history of India. When Indian forces brought the Pakistani army to its knees. Pakistan's armed forces laid down arms at a surrender ceremony in Dhaka before the joint command of the Indian armed forces and Mukti Bahini, Bangladesh's guerrilla resistance forces. Who can forget this iconic photograph? You can see the chief of the Pakistani forces, General Amir Abdullah Khan Niazi, signing the agreement with Lieutenant General Jagjit Singh Arora, the general officer commanding in chief of the Eastern Command during the Indo Pak War of 1971. The agreement led to the entity called East Pakistan coming to an end and the birth of a new nation, Bangladesh. Now as the Pakistani armed forces have surrendered in Bangladesh and Bangladesh is free, it is pointless in our view to continue the present conflict. Pakistan had lost its entire eastern arm, one of India's greatest military triumphs and needless to say, a crushing defeat for Pakistan. Pakistan's 93,000 soldiers surrendered, the largest military surrender after the Second World War. It was also the first time when all three divisions, the Indian Army, the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy, fought together. In fact, it was the first time since India's independence that the Indian Navy was engaged in an offensive role on such a large scale. The seeds of this war was sown nine months back. The Bangladesh Liberation War began after the Pakistani military junta, based in West Pakistan, led by their president, Yahya Khan, launched Operation Searchlight against the people of East Pakistan on the night of March 25th, 1971. In the early hours, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, a Bangladeshi politician and statesman, declared independence from Pakistan. But what prompted Rahman to make this declaration? In 1970, his party, the Awami League, had secured an absolute majority in the Pakistani general elections, the country's first winning more seats than all parties in West Pakistan, including Zulfikar Ali Bhutto's Pakistan People's Party. The Pakistan military annulled the results of the 1970 elections and arrested Rahman, who was the Prime Minister designated. His declaration coincided with a ruthless show of strength by the Pakistani military. It was a systematic elimination of nationalist Bengali civilians. Tanks rolled on the streets of Dhaka. 200,000 to 300,000 Bengali people were killed, says a report. 200,000 to 400,000 Bengali women were raped. It was a genocide. Over the next few months, war clouds deepened over the Indian subcontinent. The war began on the 3rd of December 1971 when the Pakistan Air Force launched Operation Genghis Khan, a preemptive strike on 11 Indian air stations. It paved the way for India, formally signalling war. Pakistani Hawaii Jahazoni, Hamare Hawaii Addo Parbam Bazi Ki. Mujhe Zara Bhi Sunday Nahi Hai, Ki Vijayi Bharat Ki Janata Ki 
भारत की बहादुर सेना की होगी फील्ड मार्शल सैम मानिकॉ वाइडली नोन एज सैम बहादुर इज सीन एज द की आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ द नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन विन फौज का काम है लड़ने का कमांडर का काम है फौज को तैयार रखने का और प्लान देने का मैंने उनको प्लान दिया था और लड़ाई के पहले लद्दाख से लेके पूरा बॉर्डर तक मैं जाके सब जवानों को मिलता था तीन हज़ार जवान चार हज़ार जवान पाँच हज़ार और उनके साथ पहले ही बात करता था बिल्कुल सफाई सफाई के बाद कि मैंने आपको ट्रेनिंग दी है मैंने हथियार दिया है मैंने प्लान बनाया है एक चीज़ नहीं दी मेरा दिल अब मैं अगली दफ़ा मिलूंगा आपको तो पाकिस्तान के अंदर मिलूंगा उनकी मोरल बहुत हाई थी द वॉर इट सेल्फ क्विक एंड डिसाइसिव लास्ट इन ओनली थर्टीन डेज द इंडियन एयरफोर्स कंडक्टेड नियरली सिक्स थाउजेंड सॉटीज ऑन द ईस्टर्न एंड वेस्टर्न फ्रंट्स एयर पावर वॉज सीन एज अ की कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर टू द हिस्टोरिक विक्ट्री military humanitarian and diplomatic support from india during bangladesh's liberation war played an important role in bangladesh's independence post the war india was the first country to recognize bangladesh 10 million men women and children from then east pakistan took shelter in the indian states of west bengal tripura assam and meghalaya The war changed the geopolitical landscape of the South Asia region forever. Bangladesh emerged as the seventh most populous country in the world. Pakistan faced an enormous economic crisis after the 1971 war. Poverty rose to 55% in 1971-72. In decades to come, too, the state of affairs remained dire and worrisome. India on the other hand emerged as a strong force after the 1971 war 52 years on south asia's power positions stay defined this way